what's happening today more and more stores will be joining in on this and if you want to know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the reduction of their hours so let's dive right in but before we do go ahead hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not and if you have already subscribed, welcome and welcome back. Don't forget to turn your notifications on because I tend to upload more than once a day if it's a heavy news day. Stay tuned. This all started in 2020. So we're not gonna go way back when because we're still dealing with a lot of those issues and seemingly they are getting worse and we're in 2023. But Walmart has now joined CVS in announcing that they will be reducing their pharmacy hours. So Walgreens has already started reducing their hours. They used to be open till like maybe 10 o'clock. Now they are down to nine. So I suspect that Walgreens will join Walmart and CVS in doing the same. And those hours are 7 p.m. that Walmart will be closing early. Walmart plans to reduce their hours from nine o'clock p.m. to 7 p.m. And this won't be at every location, but this will be at roughly 4,600 of their locations. And we know that they have way more than that. So this might not affect everyone, but it will affect a great deal of people. So that's why I'm letting you know this. So you can try to plan ahead in case it's your area and you don't show up and say, oh my gosh, the pharmacy is closed because I have shown up to I don't go to that pharmacy, but when I go to Walmart, I go in that area to see what it looks like. And I noticed a couple of times that the pharmacy was closed. Now, this is supposed to be to best serve the customers at the time that they actually would be picking up their medications and also for a better work life for the pharmacist. We are dealing with a shortage of pharmacists right now. And this is why some locations have been just closing their pharmacies all together. You show up, there's a sign saying, you know, we're closed due to yada, yada, yada. They're not never really giving you a real reason, but we all know that there is a shortage of it due to the high demand um, of pharmacists being drained, quitting, reducing their hours, um, overworked. That's just plain and simple, overworked. So hopefully this is, a good thing where they can retain some of their workforce because we are dealing with a labor shortage as well. The article also states that CVS on the same exact day as Walmart came out and said that they too will be reducing their hours. Two thirds of CVS pharmacies and nearly 9,000 US locations will adjust their store hours starting in March and the one for Walmart starts in March as well. Hours may vary at certain locations. Let me know what you think down in the comments about how your pharmacy hours are. Have they been cut already? Um, did you even know that this was about to happen? I promise you, this is not just about a shortage of pharmacists. Stores are closing. Walgreens, CVS in the past three years have shuttered many, many stores as well as Walmart. So I don't think it's all about, we just want to have a better work life for the pharmacists. I don't see them putting people over their finances. Um, I just don't. So it's more to the story, you guys. I expect that we will see more stores closing altogether, not just the pharmacy closing hours early, but stores will be shutting down as well. So turn your notifications on so you'll know when I upload a video because you know I try to bring you the news that you can use in your everyday life. And speaking of everyday life, stock up because so much is going on. There's a lot of tension out there globally. It's not just the Ukraine war and Russia. They had drone strikes, okay? Drone strikes. I do expect that 
Fuel prices will continue to rise. This just happened. A drone attack, Iranian defense factory last night in Isfahan. I hope I'm saying that right. And a refinery fire broke out in the country's northwest and a 5.9 magnitude quake hit in that same area. So a lot is happening overseas and I guarantee you it will affect us here as it always does. It's not just, you know, the war in Ukraine and Russia situations going on in China. We are just in every single thing. And before I let you go, I mean, like I told you, so much is happening, but do what you can with what you have. I know everybody don't have the same budget, so do what you can with whatever it is you have, okay? Don't get sidetracked. Keep your blinders on and know that you can only control what you can control and what that is is your own home and what happens in it and what happens to it and how well you are prepared for whatever happens. You need to be stocking up at least six months to a year's worth of food and medical supplies as well. Don't forget about that get extra blankets and stuff like that for the winter time and with spring coming make sure you have your bug repellents and all that other stuff. you think that's simple and small but it's not especially if you happen to be outside because you can't be in your home make sure you have an evacuation bag a bug out bag get all of those things together you guys i'll see you in the next video y'all take care and stay safe i love you but god loves you more